Welcome everyone to this video and of course we also need to continue with the PS3. I know many fans are waiting already and I wish I had more time but unfortunately some days I'm also a little bit busy and as I said this should not become a PS3 channel so we also do various other topics. I hope you enjoy all of them. As I said before already this is a rather huge topic and why we did other videos also already because obviously with some other videos with some more light topics we get some more subscribers so that we can spend more time on this complicated stuff. So what we've done so far nearly a year ago last February or so I got this initially to work again. Actually to summarize so we have the latest Linux kernel working here and since last February I have basic work in progress conceptual RSX acceleration at least 2DX working again and back in the day a year ago this took really long maybe even nearly two weeks or something intermittently every other night and weekend. So now we want to get this really working again because not only did it have graphic corruptions it also was locking up eventually and now with all the S3 Verge practice and getting into the right mindset for all this GPU work we are getting back to this. And so for this to work I had to modify the Linux frame buffer and this is some old code that I resurrected and got to work again. It's a little bit rough with some white space damage and things like this. It needs to be cleaned up, but that is not the biggest problem. What this is doing, it's adding some new IO CTLs. IO CTL stands for IO control. And this is some application binary interface where the user space program like the X server can call into the kernel driver with this device nodes here in the frame buffer and such. And historically, the P3 frame buffer was unaccelerated, allowing only to manipulate pixel data. And this is certainly a bit slow to do with the CPU. So this is a little bit unclean here. This IOCTLs this are only proof of concept because they are exposing directly this command FIFOs of the frame buffer. This is from the security standpoint not perfect because a program like the X server but theoretically also other programs could use this to DMA, to direct memory transfer, any memory to your program. For example, search for passwords and, and things like this and crypto keys and so. But anyway, first we need to get this working perfectly and later we can think about making this more secure in a more standard DRI, direct rendering interface kind of way. But first we need to get this working again. And for this, this proof of concept stuff is good enough. So this is just like a decade ago where this initial hacker did this proof of concept work and this is exposing, I commented here out what I don't need, we are only exposing here not only the VRAM but also the FIFO because the frame buffer was I think not exposing the VRAM only the system memory where it would only copy this to the VRAM because actually in this P3 reading from the VRAM is super slow like 16 megabyte or something ridiculously slow as this. So we also want to map the VRAM and the FIFO, I think this control FIFO was, for example, the command pointers, read and write pointers in this ring buffer of this FIFO. And then our X server can open this and manipulate them right into them, these commands. So this was on Linux kernel 3.5. And I say this in such detail to show you how much work all of this is and also for your education, because it makes no sense for me to work here for two weeks and present you the final result in 10 minutes, then you don't learn much. And I only have one short video for two weeks or two months of work. So this was kernel 3.5 and we need this for the latest kernel. And as usual, this does not directly apply anymore. This changes to the source code because in the meantime, stuff changed. And also we were running the latest kernel as of last month, that was 4.19 and in the meantime we have 4.12 and of course all of our many PS3 patches did not apply anymore because the upstream kernel maintainers even for the PS3 polish stuff and there is also ABI changes for block interface like you see here someone was too nice to send me these changes rediffed rebased and even adding here this driver that I did not care rebasing before and changes of this, as you see, are quite some beside adding this new drivers there. And this is probably only scrolling so slow because I have some debug print out there in between also. And 
you see things like white spacing changed and uh, locations in the file and such. So when we take a look here, let's see, if, for example, the storage changed. Here's the upstream kernel maintainers added new parameters here for some block queue something. And then we, of course, need to adapt our changes to this new API and ABI changes for things to continue to work. And I will commit this. So this was sent to me. Very nice. I love this kind of emails where people send me working patches. And I compiled the Linux kernel. And now we want to test boot this 4.20 and then start applying our GPU, our RSX work to this. And also, as I said, this can hang beside graphic corruption. This can hang right now, the GPU. And here is some exception for this somewhere. And in the meantime, because I was also thinking, how can we fix this GPU hang? We need to find out why it hangs. And I did not know how to recover. And I think I finally understood how we could probably recover this GPU hang because we get some exception notification from the hypervisor. And I think how we could potentially recover from this GPU hang, I've not yet tested this, need to also implement this. This will also take a day or so is to change this FIFO control read and write pointers. Because I think when we return from this exception, we will get the exception again or not recover. And I think there is a chance that we could recover from this by setting here this FIFO start and current to the same position so that the GPU would not try to continue with the command that was faulting. And then we also need to change our X driver not to use shadow registers for this, but read the actual value for the X driver to realize when this GPU hang occurred and to also recover and use the newly corrected position to submit new commands. But this is, as you see from all those details, this will for sure take a whole day to test and try and tinker with this. So for today, let's copy here the newly compiled kernel. And so this is build PowerPC 6432 and then here Linux 4.23 and actually maybe SSH forwarded build PowerPC 6432 something toolchain packages Linux 4.20 something to here. Hmm, where does this came from? Hmm. And then I also need to rebase this direct command FIFO stuff because this also doesn't apply anymore, obviously. So mine install force we not verbose because this will to scroll too slow. And then we can test reboot and hopefully this still works. So boot we have 423. Then let's test boot this. So boot 423. 4.23 So, and too much time later. Somehow 4.20 doesn't want to boot for me. No idea yet why. So, I continued with 4.19 because I finally want this isolated IOCTL stuff back. So I just rsync this over here. Just the kernel and let's see if this hopefully still boots and also and also check if this isolated X still does work a little bit. And then with everything up to date, we can finally dive into the hardcore low level bits and debug and implement there more. So let's see, this is 4.19.12 and this VM Linux from root with the latest redift stuff. And it's doing something. At least it's still coming up. And 4.20 is in the next thing to analyze. 
Also wonder why sometimes network takes longer than it usually does. Yeah, this is a patched one. Let's see, this is slightly risky to start it directly as I did in the other video. Ideally remote from another machine that you get debug output. But let's see what happens. I hope this hanging is the usual or not. Yeah, that's why I said it's risky. So then something of this quick rebase does also not work anymore. So then let's better start this remotely and see what is crashing there. But as we don't have cups lock anymore, I have the feeling maybe a bigger rather than a smaller issue. So now from this surface here, locked into the cell, let's see, start X, this keyboard. Maybe another day I make this here dual monitor. Okay, this crashes quickly, does it? Okay, it is actually still alive. And what did we crash here? Now we have here plenty of demask. Let's see, can we start a second time? No such device or address failed to map VRAM. Um, do we have this device nodes? But actually they were somehow created before PS. Let's see what we had here. So this patch lives in Arch Power PC64 package Linux 0600. And let's see. This was so actually with S trace we see we get here open P3 GPU VRAM and get here no such device or address. Let's see what we have done there. Unfortunately this DMask is already scrolling way too much there, so either var log boot and GPU so using 250 for direct GPU access what did we get here P3 GPU so this is actually somehow hmm let's see boot this was hard coded in etc conf kernel or so I wonder if we can just add additional IOCTLs to the regular framework for device. It would be maybe slightly more convenient. No, that still doesn't work. Oh, wait a second. If I run this again, GPU. No, I should not run this again. That looks better. So, but as I said already, we should not do it like this anyway. And you also see here, this are the 500 million small copies that I was talking about that I think should not really be there. And we have the state of X that we wanted to have. So at least something managed today. No mouse, hot plug or... Hmm. If we crashed now, looks okay-ish though. Maybe we just kill this away. Oh no, we have console back. Starts this again. Again, this were what did we had here? Is this million copies are size four by four? So, as you can see, copy from two. This is all four pixels. This must be some really strange and stupid pattern that is copied there with 4x4 pixels. That is, of course, not awesome. And here, yeah, now that we have the basics of Slitus kernel, the next days and weeks, all the real fun can begin. But you see, just testing 420, wasting here hours of most of the Sunday, having a non working kernel is already. Not the most awesome time spent. 
Somehow I wonder why do we not have north now? Hmm. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. This happens when you just record what you're trying to do and then things do not go as awesome as you thought they would. If you want to support this work, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share, like and subscribe and I hope to see you soon for the next videos to come. Maybe the next time I also simply use a second display. Var log x server mouse. We have a mouse and keyboard so maybe this is related to our initial crash there that oh yeah, we don't have keyboard here to start with.